Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Klein Tools Digital Circuit Breaker Finder, model number ET310. So I just cut it open. Be careful when you cut it open. These can be some sharp edges on the plastic. So here's what we get. It does come with a 9 volt battery. And so under this flap is where you'll find the manual. Okay, Klein tools are very nice. This is the receiver and this is the transmitter. Looks like you can even store it. That's a very nice feature. You can store this all in one piece. And then when you're ready to use it, you pull it out. It's, it's held in there very good. So let's install the battery. We need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so once you loosen that screwdriver, this is hinged right here. We need to take this piece of tape off. Okay, so now let's connect the battery. Make sure you push it on like that and you're gonna store it in here. Close the handle, there's really nothing else in there. Close it and then tighten the screw. Okay, so now we got a battery in it, we can turn it on. There's like a green light there and then to turn it off, you gotta hold the button. So even though this is a transmitter, it's also a circuit tester. So here I plugged it in. This is just an outlet I've got. So I just plugged it in. I've got two lights here and you're gonna check, see what it means when you've got two lights. So correct wiring. When just these two lights are lit, that means the wiring is correct. Yeah, it's a little hard to see. It's very easy to see. The, the video wasn't picking it up real well, but these two are lit. And I can see that they're lit here. Okay, so here, this is also a GFI tester. So you can plug it in. See how I've got correct wiring, the two lights are lit. And then I can press this button and that's gonna test the GFI. That should pop out and remove power. I lost both my lights. Take this out and then you can reset your GFI. But now let's go see if we can find. So I'm gonna, I got the GFI reset. I've got this plugged in, the lights are on. Now let's go to the circuit breaker panel and see if I can find this circuit breaker. Okay, so here I'm at the breaker panel. It says you're supposed to turn it on and you'll see that this part is the on and then there's also a reset. You're supposed to press the reset when you get close to the panel. So press the reset. Okay, so we're gonna start. You've, you've gotta position this at like a, well, not really a 45 degree angle, but so that that is flush against your panel. So you're supposed to go down your panel. It'll become real obvious when it's the one you need. Okay, it's in none of these. Let's go over here. Getting close. Okay, it's probably that one. Let's go down, yeah. So when you go back and forth, it's that one. The green indicator goes alight and the red starts flashing. So when I go to that one, it's not that one, but it is that one. And so I know 35 is the right one, and it definitely does get the 35 one. The biggest thing you can tell is the green indicator light goes away. So it is 35. So now this part does not require any power other than being plugged in. So your, your plug-in has to have power, but it doesn't require a battery. Now the unit out here will shut off after three minutes automatically. But again, if you, you want to power it on is, is this way, you got to reset it. Now, when you reset it, it really doesn't do anything. But before you approach the panel, you're supposed to reset it. And then you can power it off. And the manual kind of talks about resetting the receiver. Always reset the receiver away from the electrical panel to ensure the electrical signals are not being sensed during the reset. And so here's what that looks like. That's what's going to be sliding along the electrical panel right there. It's got a very nice feel to it. Um, it feels very solid. And again, I love the storage part of it. Overall dimensions, about almost 11 inches when you've got the adapter on. This is a very nice tool and I'm glad I purchased it. Thanks everybody for watching.